So on Saturday, September the 24th, 2022, we held a Mustang versus Camaro rally. Inaugural Mustang versus Camaro rally. Stick around and find out how we started off at about 7.30 in the morning to an empty parking lot. And quickly, it started building up. I'll let you just watch and listen. <laughs> Man, it's sounding awesome. We're already getting started, already about 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. We already had everybody starting to line up. I'm going to start piling in, right? As you can tell. And listen in here. <laughs> you have to spot yourself a favor here in the mix. It's going to be a difficult, difficult choice, whether you're Mustang or Camaro Lover. So you know what? Everybody was a winner here, especially when you find out at the end. Everybody that you see registered here paid a fee of $25 or more to enter their cars in. Some made donations, which we really appreciate. Those of you watching, you know who you are. Stick around to the end of the video, let you know how much we raised for East Tennessee Children's Hospital. But you know, there's a uh, great thing to be here, learned here by everybody. You know, there's a rivalry amongst Camaros and Mustangs, Dodges, you name it. We put together this wonderful little show. We're challenged by the people over at the Tennessee Valley Mustang Club. The club has been around for, oh, I believe they said over 20 years. But it's shout out to their people and ours. You can see what happened. They showed up, and man, they showed up in full force. So if you've ever been to the Quaker Steak and Lube in Sevierville, Tennessee, underneath the main parking area is a huge overflow and they cater to events such as ours. So we had the Tennessee, inaugural Tennessee Valley Mustang Club. All the Mustangs put a shout out, a challenge to us Camaros. So this is the result. And we're just getting started. Are you more of a Camaro guy or gal? Are you leaning more towards the Mustangs? Leave a comment, let me know which one's your favorite. Personally, I love them all. I think all Camaros, all Mustangs, all Dodges, all, you name it, a Buicks, I mean, they all have their class and their flair. Maybe leave a comment, let us know what is your faves. For us, it's definitely gonna be the good old Camaros. Wonderful, wonderful rides. Tell you what, you can see there was a lot of people that represented their own brand. The word got out, the Mustangs come out, the Camaros came out, and we parked them nose to nose. Pretty impressive machines, I gotta tell you. Some of those had some, <laughs> some pretty awesome power. Hey, are you uh, more of the older Camaro fans, older Mustang fan? Do you like the newer style? Do you like the older style? What's your favorite? Maybe leave a comment. Let us know in the description, the comment section there. You'll see what all we had posted. And you'll see up at the top up there some onlookers, some that just maybe found out about the event as you pull across the bridge there on Collier Drive in Sevierville. You couldn't help but notice all the Mustangs and all the Camaros gathering up in one huge area. Kind of hard to spot a favorite, isn't it? So yeah, details are going to be coming up. It'll be a new event. Already got it planned. Stick around. We'll let you know when that's coming. Let you know how you can enter that as well. Be a part of the next second annual Mustang vs. Camaro showdown. Are you enjoying the video so far? Appreciate you taking a minute to leave a comment, interact with us. It only takes a second. Doesn't cost you anything. Maybe hit the subscribe button. Hit a like button there. Let YouTube know that you're enjoying this type of video. That, my friends, was one of my favorites. I've always been a favorite of the Transformer movies. We have one in our club, but this was one that popped up. And I got to tell you, they put a lot of time and a lot of effort into these machines. 
These are owned by one of our uh, local business owners here in Seymour. He has actually several Mustangs brought out representing there. And even more parked out in the overflow parking lot. So as you can see, if you're planning an event, this place holds a lot, a lot, I mean a lot of cars. And so we're hoping to plan the second event, which we'll tell you about again at the end of the video. We were able to raise quite a generous donation amount for our people at East Tennessee Children's Hospital. Coming up in the video, we'll show you the check presentation. Once again, let you know how you can be a part of the second annual Mustang versus Camaro showdown. It'll be located again at the Quaker Steak and Lube in Sevierville, Tennessee. There's again one of my favorites. Look at that beauty. Oh. And there's the other Bumblebee. Uh, now that's one of our club members. He has got a really lot of time, a lot of money spent, a lot of effort put into his ride, but as he'll tell you, he's just there for the show, there for the kids, the interaction. It's a great, great ride. Hey, I know whose that car is. That's mine, and that was my son's car. Now, kind of funny, right after that, he actually got himself a new one, which we were shocked to see, but new member of the family. Represented even more people, so yeah, the registration booth. Gave out a lot of swag. Want to give a shout out to all the wonderful people that donated. We had Reader Chevrolet on our end. We had Beatty Chevrolet, Volunteer Chevrolet. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of the people. Let's see, Volunteer, I don't think did a donation, but I know they put the word out. All the Chevy dealerships put the word out. Morristown Chevrolet from the Camaro point of view and side. Uh, shout out to Lethal Performance. Big shout out to RM. Roddy, you know who you are. Thank you for all the donations. Huge shout out to our friends over at Summit Racing. The people at Jegs. Jegs alone. Jeggy Coughlin, thank you so much. Jegs sent out over 150 Jegs hats to make our event successful. Thank you so much. And again, thank you to all that turned out for this event. You can see in the video there, many of you are sitting around for the door prizes that we gave away all throughout the day quite a lot of door prizes that were made possible by our wonderful sponsors like craven wings cabins across the creek oh you name it we had several but lots of trophies custom made 25 or so different trophies to be given out at the end of the day i'll tell you what hats off to the mustang club who actually took us by about 10 or 11 cars but we're gunning for you. There's gonna be another year coming. Now listen to this. So hi, I'm Sean Woods with East Tennessee Camara Club along with my friend. Doug Love Day, Tennessee Valley Mustang Club. And we are here with our friend Miss. Jennifer Lamb from East Tennessee Children's Hospital. And Miss Jennifer, we are here together. We work together. We had a little car show on September 24th. We're pleased to present you with a check for the amount of $3,593.22 on behalf of the East Tennessee Camaro Club and the Mustang Club. That's awesome. We'll be doing it again in a year, so we'll see you again with maybe even a larger check. But thank you so much for what you guys do. Thank you very much. You heard it, $3,593.22. All right, pay attention. I'm going to get the radio voice out. You ready? The second annual Mustang versus Camaro showdown. Too much? Too much? Is it too much? Okay, well, anyway, you get it. Saturday, May 20th, Tyndall 3, Quaker Steak and Lube, right there on the parkway in Sevierville. Anybody that's got a Camaro or a Mustang, you're invited. Doesn't matter what year it is. It's going to be a very simple $30 entry. And this year, we're going to have over 40 plus trophies. All profits are going to benefit the East Tennessee Children's Hospital again, our good friend Jennifer Lamb, our friends over at ETCH and Children's Hospital. We love you guys. Trophy and bragging rights to the brand that shows the most, and this year it's going to be the Camaros, right? Where you at? Camaros? I'm putting a shout out. Show up and be there, or be square. Saturday, May 20th. 